You build models, and it is true that the best model that fits all the data, which is not just the way that gravity, that, that galaxies rotate and and collide, and and the way that gravities, uh, galaxies kind of lens light and all those things, but also the cosmic microwave background radiation, which is the oldest light in the universe, and and how that works, and how the ripples, the sound waves went through the early universe, and all that. So you put it all together, and and it, it fits if you have a a, a light a light ish particle that does not interact with light, but interacts weakly. So this would be another category of particle in the particle soup. Yeah. So that has gravity, but doesn't interact electromagnetically, yes. or only very so weakly. You can't see it. And so it just it's all right. Yeah. So, so that that's a model though. You're right. So that's a mm -hmm. model, mm -hmm. which is kind of I would say the baseline model. It yeah, it's the, the assumption it, people assume that. And I don't have a problem with it, but if anything happens to that model, it gets shown it can't be true. People say, oh, then there is no dark matter. No, there's still dark. It is a measurement in the universe. Yeah, I, I understand. We've yeah. just misnamed it. Yeah, I agree. The, the measurement is just galaxies spin around too fast. But too fast. There or, it is. or the way they collide <laughs> and, and so on. There's, there's quite a lot of independent measurements mm -hmm. of this thing. So tell me about graviton. I mean, is that a real particle? I think most physicists would say that quantum mechanics requires is, it. is the base, it is the base theory 